So you have a company, you want to figure out uh, how your business is doing. You want to know uh, how your sales are growing, how healthily your business is growing. You want to understand how happy your customers are with the products that you are offering. And you want to figure out the return on investment on the different projects or developments that you are doing. So for example, product development or uh, marketing campaigns. Having an overall snapshot of what's the situation at the company is going to be a very valuable uh, information to be checked potentially every day by you and understand how the company is doing. This is what a company dashboard is going to do for you. So having a company dashboard is going to help you understanding what's the company status, how are you doing, uh, how happy your customers are, how healthy your business is. And this will allow you to see an updated uh, information of what the business how the business or how the company is actually doing in a quick snapshot. But this information should not be just restricted to just uh, CEOs or management. Uh, you want to make this information available to everybody because in the end, everybody in the company should know and understand how the business is doing. It. Is this a healthy business? Are we are our customers happy? Uh, are the campaigns that we are doing or the development that we are doing going in the correct direction and answering the customer needs? And also understanding that when there is the success, it's much easier to understand where the success comes from. Now we will go through the main topics that you have to take into account before you actually build a dashboard and how you can actually build it. Uh, but remember, please, if you like these topics, if you like what I'm doing in this channel, uh, remember to subscribe and like the videos because it helps greatly to the channel. So what is the information that you want to see in a company dashboard? So there's going to be different topics and let's see what kind of information do we want to show in, one, in each one of them. So first we want to make sure that we are always bringing value to your users, to your customers, that they understand that your solutions, your products are valuable and that they can fit their needs, that they address the needs that they might have. Second, we want to understand if our business is in a healthy position. So are we doing, are we financially sound or are we maybe losing money or losing traction with our customers? Then we want to understand also if there is potential problems with our customers that they might be facing and are they having some kind of impediments to use our solutions or our, our products. And finally, we want to understand the return on investment of our own efforts. So this might be development efforts when you are developing a product, but it can be also marketing campaigns efforts. So I, when we try to reach out to customers, are we actually getting the results that we were expecting our campaigns successful? So a way of measuring if you are actually bringing value to your customers, it is to check if your customers are actually using your products. So you can just look at uh, how often the users are engaging with your products and for how long. This would also give you already an understanding of if users are actually seeing that your products are actually addressing their needs that they might be having. To see how happy your customers are, you can look into your active customers. So is the number of active users that you have in your product growing or declining or is it keeping steady? This already tells you how users are engaged with your solutions. There's different ways of measuring active customers. It might be something simple as how many times somebody actually uh, registers or logins into your service or how long do they spend within your service. To see how healthy your business is, you can look into the sales numbers. At least you can look into two basic numbers. One of them could be just pure revenue. How is your revenue growing over time and how that's in compared to previous periods. And also the other one is to look at how many entitlements, by entitlements meaning licenses, uh, subscriptions, are you selling to your users? So is this trend growing or not? And uh, understanding that are you growing as a company or not? To understand if your users are facing problems, you can look into support cases. This can be logging into different ways. They can be logged to a, a traditional uh, support desk, but it can be also some kind of an online community that you might have for your users, where you can see how often do they post in sections where they can report, for example, uh, defects or bugs in your products to understand if users are having some kind of problem or not when they are using your products. And to understand the return on investment of your efforts, this can be product efforts, product development efforts, or it can be marketing campaign efforts. So 
you will have to somehow add some kind of milestone into your dashboards where you can see that at, at a certain point in time there was a release of a new version or at a certain time where there has been a marketing campaign that has been focused for a certain industry it has this has an impact on how the customers are using the software how active your uh, users are using your product or are the sales numbers actually being impacted are you actually selling more subscriptions than you used to sell because of this new release on top of this, you could add some extra information into your dashboard. You can break the customer base based on geography, or you can break them based on industry, depends on how your customers divide and if you have different customer personas. But also you can add information on how this period of time, uh, what I like to do is to look into the last 30 months and compare them to the same period of time in the previous year to understand where are you going as a business, as a company, how things are progressing. And of course, you have to look into what kind of information is important for your company. What information are you looking into and uh, what it would be more relevant in your situation to display into this kind of task. Especially if you are a small company or a startup company, you might want to concentrate more on growth metrics and not so much other metrics. Uh, and if you are a more established company, you might want to or pay more attention into retention metrics than into actual growth metrics. So always pay attention to what kind of information or what do you expect from this dashboard before starting to just throw that, uh, different graphs that might not be the exact information that you need. So what are going to be the main challenges when you try to build this kind of dashboard? So first of all, it's going to be just the typical challenges that you will have when you actually work with data is that do you have the can you access the correct data do you have all the information needed the data reliable and is it consistent can i merge all the information because this is going to come from different databases can i merge it into just one database where can i start pulling everything do i have the technical capabilities to do this and also potentially you are going to look into creating certain type of mapping tables especially when you're looking to older data that might have changed over time and might not have been properly updated into the databases early on the other challenge is that being able to define what do you want to see and why do you want to see it what is the information that you actually need in your dashboard why do I want this information? Well, I want this information because I want to see if my business is healthy. I want this information because I want to see if my customers are happy with the solutions that I'm providing to them. And if there is problems with the products that these customers are using. So how can I identify this information? Always start from this high level point of view and then do the dive in. If you do it backwards, then it's going to be difficult to make a dashboard that it doesn't go maybe potentially to very high levels of detail, but then it's very difficult to have a good overview of what you want. And this finally leads me to uh, kind of the obvious thing. You really need to have the knowledge to be able to pull all this together, to be able to grab the data that you need, to be able to move the data around to wherever you are actually going to do all your queries, to then actually do the data visualizations, and finally build this nice looking dashboard that people can just see at a glance and have a very very good understanding of where we are as a company. It's not so obvious and it's not so easy to build this kind of dashboard. I'm typically you will need somebody that actually is comfortable working with data. It can be a data engineer, it can be a data scientist or somebody that has a similar profile that can help you build in this kind of dashboard that can help you figuring out these insights and make them available and visible to everybody in the company. So company dashboard is very important to give you a quick look of where are you at a certain point and how your business is doing or your company is doing. And uh, do you think that you are working in the right way? That Do you think that you are actually still having a good traction with your users, that you are growing as you should be growing, that your users are not having any problems when they are trying to use your products. It's very important, as I said, you always have to start with the why. What are the answers that you want to answer? That a dashboard like this could help you provide the answers to those questions. Then finally, you have to find out the people that can help you build in this dashboard. And remember, you don't have to do this for just one, 
company dashboard, you can have team dashboards. So if I am a product team and I want to see how the development for the next release of the product is working, I could have my dashboards that actually visualizes uh, the progress of these uh, projects and see that am I on track, am I not on track, are all the different traits in sync, am I sure that actually when I go to release I'm not just technically ready but I also have all the promotion ready and everybody that should be involved in the release is ready to go move forward. So having data and having dashboards available within the company is a great way to get feedback from your users. Uh, it's not the typical feedback that you get from your users. This is not talking in person with, a, with somebody that comes and tells you that they love this feature or not. But seeing that people are engaging with a certain feature, that people are actually purchasing your product, it actually tells you that people probably are happy with what you're doing. Data by itself is usually not enough. You also have to gauge it in other ways, but having this very high level overview of how your company is doing or how certain parts of the company are doing is going to give you a great feedback on how your business is moving forward and how satisfied your customers are with your solutions. How about you? Do you actually build dashboards for your company? Do you have an overall picture of what your company is doing? Do you have them for teams or do you actually uh, just have meetings where you people where people report about what are they doing, where you try to synchronize the work. Please comment below and let us know. And as always, if you like the video, please like and subscribe. See you in the next one. Stay safe.